The first way I want to show you to do belly bands is with polyline solids. So let's take a look at that. Just take an elevation view of this side. There's two ways you can do polyline solids. You can just right here, select your polyline solid tool right here, primitive tool, polyline solid, and just draw it on here and just make it look as good as you can. You can right here in this view, break these and pull them where you want them. You can even dimension them. So if the bottom is where you want it, which doesn't look like it is, so just pull it up a little. Click on this line, then hit nine and a quarter. There you go. It'll move that line. Yeah, chief is fun. And then um, click here, make this nine and a quarter. And there's your belly band. Now you can go to your overview here. Use your eyedropper tool up here. Get your paint color, paint it. And you got your belly band. Now, there's another way to do that is to create a CAD detail from view. And I do this all the time because it's very accurate. You can actually get snaps here. So if you use a polyline, you can make it nine and a quarter to begin with just by hitting your tab key and uh, clicking it and then dragging it over. And use your three key and break it. And you can be very accurate with this method. You can go right, you can snap right to the siding here and then maybe move it with your tab key, hit that, say move it one inch so you know it's exactly one inch. Here you can use transform replicate and say minus one. No, it, I, it won't, in CAD detail, it'll actually be in the Y. There you go. And then, uh, move this down minus one and then click and use your three key again pull this over to the edge of the siding click here make it nine and a quarter or whatever size you want it let's make sure this is nine and a quarter there you go so we've got a polyline here you just command c or control c go back to your elevation view Control Alt V or Command Alt V and you have your polyline pasted while it's still highlighted as you can see go down here to the convert tool and you can convert it either to a material region or a polyline solid for our example here I'm going to make it a solid make sure it's about an inch thick or whatever depending on your accuracy how you want to be and make sure you have it on your right layer and I'm not going to do that right now but there you go and it's not there. Where is it? Oh yeah, it is. It's right there, but it's a piece of concrete, so you can't see it. Paint it, and there's your belly band. So that's method number one, two options. Just draw it right in elevation view or use a CAD detail from view and place it on there. The next method we're gonna use uh, is 3D molding polylines. And I'm gonna go back to this same elevation, create a CAD detail from view and uh, draw a line I'm just following the bottom of the siding here with a line a polyline and I am going to change that to like a red so you can see it here and make it like 50 wide okay so you see my line right there now I think I will open transform replicate and move it down minus one and then I'm going to click here and move this over one and uh, I have it where I want it I might move this back to right here so it clicks now copy that control C or command C go back to your elevation right here and paste and hold position control alt B and then go down here to your convert tool and the only option you're going to get for this line is a 3d molding polyline click OK and it brings in a default molding 
uh, I would just make it nine and a quarter. And uh, we're not going to check top because actually where we drew the line was the bottom. Uncheck this and click OK. And there is your belly band. That's a pretty fast way, really. And if you use CAD detail from view, it can be fairly accurate. So that's another method you can use. There's one more thing I want to say about 3D molding polylines is you're not limited to just basic moldings uh, like I've used here. You can create your own moldings, which I just did real quick. This is a just a polyline. It's one inch by nine and a quarter. Uh, you can't see that, but it is. And then I created this molding, which is to represent a piece of flashing. And if you click on these, like I, I would click them in order like that. Click the big molding, the little molding. I don't know if it matters. But then if you come down here, you can add this libra to library as a stacked molding. Click OK. And it'll pull it in as a stacked molding, which I've already done. And so I've got this one right here, Billy Band. So if you go to your overview, and we have this basic molding here, and you've created this new molding belly band with drip cap. You can just replace it. And there you go. Now this mold, this one has a drip cap on it right here. You can see. And I think I did a section through here. Maybe not. Here, we'll just do a, a back clip real quick. Through the wall here. And you'll see what I'm talking about. And we'll zoom in over here where we have it. And there's your there's your board with your drip cap on it. And that looks a little more realistic as to what you actually will be doing. So that's another good thing about molding polylines is that you can actually attach the molding you want. You can create it yourself and make it look right. And these when you open this, you get this dialogue here, stack molding with belly band drip cap, okay? And you can name these. So you can call call this the belly band. And you can call this the drip. And so you can keep track and then you can go to your materials and you can just change this to whatever you want. Maybe you want it to be white or dark like this, like a bronze, and you can change it. So that's a real advantage, I think, to 3D molding polylines. So I just wanted to add that. Now, in areas where your siding is level all the way around, like on this garage end and around the front, there's some other methods you can use. So let's look into those. The first one is just to use a molding line right here in plan view. So select molding line right here. It's, it's on your corner board's parent molding line. Right click so you can get to continuous mode. Draw around. You don't have to click it right to the building. And click it right there. Now, open that molding. Add new. And dash 001 is my rectangular molding. That's a baseboard in chief, but it works for a lot of things. I'm going to make it one by nine and a quarter, um, not to the top, but to the bottom, not extrude inside. And this general tab is where you can set the elevation. And I know it needs to be down about minus five inches. So let's just do that. Now you can, since you didn't, if you had, if you extrude inside right here, watch what happens to your, your, your selection tab is way out here and you want it to snap to the uh, to the siding. So that's the one reason why we don't do extrude inside. Now you got your grip handle right here where you can snap it right to your siding. And pull it in. Just pull it in all the way around. Now we're going to have to break it at the garage door, but we'll pull it in here first. And pull it in. And let's just take a look at that overview. And it's not in the right elevation. So let's see what I did here. Oh, I do want it to the top. That's right. Because I sent it down minus five. 
but that's to the top. So I should have selected that right there. Click OK. There you go. So that puts that molding all the way around in a pretty good position. But you have to break it sometimes at openings like this. And that's not difficult to do, uh, except selecting it can be a hassle. Like right there, I've selected the door, then the wall and I never get the molding. So what I think I would suggest you do is select all on your layer set and lock everything. And then look for moldings. Type up your mold and unlock your molding layer. And now that's what you got. Now, you've once you select it, hit your three key and go right here to this molding, this trim right here, and break it. Go over here, do the same thing. Hit your three break it, click on this line, and then come down here and remove molding from selected edge. And it'll be right where you want it. So that is another method for belly bands. So I hope that helps.